Hitler himself talks of suicide. Then Hitler reportedly meets famed astrologer Erich Jan Hanussen. Hanussen makes an unlikely prediction. In 30 days, a turning point, perhaps even power. Well, this is impossible. In December of 1932, Hitler had no hope of gaining this type of power. Hanussen suggests there is a tool to help Hitler realize his goal, a good luck charm. Hanussen tells Hitler that he must go back to the town where he was born and find a mandrake root. A mandrake is a man-shaped root said by European occultists to possess powerful medicinal properties. According to author Peter Lavenda, Hitler asked Hanussen to find the root. Hanussen travels to Hitler's hometown and digs up a mandrake from a butcher's backyard. On New Year's Day, 1933, Hanussen presents the charm to Hitler. According to Professor Nicholas Goodrick Clark, this is Hitler's mandrake. That Hitler had even received such an object and was prepared to accept it suggests some remarkable susceptibility to superstition or occult power at this time. This Vienna newspaper shows Hitler with the mandrake. From a wire around its neck hung a capsule and in this capsule were some verses that Hunussen had allegedly written describing a league or bond between himself, the Mandrake, and Hitler. These verses described that Hitler would have unlimited power and good fortune so long as he held true to this bond or league between himself and Hanussen and the Mandrake. Hitler's luck changes. Within 30 days, because of a series of political negotiations that are taking place behind the scene, suddenly Hitler finds himself Chancellor of Germany on January 30th, 1933. Hanussen's prediction, an impossible, impossibly optimistic prediction, comes true to the day. Whether Hanussen read the future or had an inside tip, no one can say. Then, on February 26th, in a seance led by Hanussen, another vision was said to appear, a great building on fire. The next day, the Reichstag, home to parliament, goes up in flames. Some still question who started the fire, but not who benefited, the Nazis. With the Reichstag fire, they begin to pass a series of decrees that increasingly give them the legal means in which to go after people they deem to be their enemies. And they can incarcerate them, they can hold them without charge. Within a year and a half of the Reichstag fire, President Paul von Hindenburg dies. Hitler's allies pass a law making Hitler head of state leader of the army and master of Germany. Once in command, the Nazis consolidate power and eliminate rivals. Among the casualties are astrologers, mystics, and occultists who helped Hitler on his rise to power. 